Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout New Vegas Let's Play, this time with episode 119, and we are here on the New Vegas Strip. The clouds drifting by. Psychedelic thing flickering behind us, and Veronica wondering why I'm not doing much better as a leader than the fella staggering over there. I wouldn't push my luck, Sunshine. I think she'd pound you into the floor like a nail. I told you. I told you. All right. Anyway, I should turn it over now to Checkers, the courier. Yeah. You know, he always turns it over to me because he never remembers what we're supposed to do next. And you know, to be fair, I, I don't really remember either. Um. Hmm. Veronica, did we have a plan? I don't recall having a plan. Don't don't ask them. They probably don't know. Oh, we were talking about the Ultralux, weren't we? Well, you know what, Veronica? Let's go take a look inside. I mean, it's ever so splashy. Oh, right. They don't like that kind of stuff here, do they? Open door to Ultralux. I think we might have been in here, but not really for very long, or I, I don't... Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Well, Veronica's shoulder, I'm not sure why you want them, but... Um, yeah, sure, here you go. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. Oh, I but know. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. I see. Please enjoy your stay. Of course. And where exactly will my weapons be so I know that they're safe? They'll be handled with the utmost security in our bank. Good to know. Pleasure speaking to you. Of course it was. Move along. Anyway. I think we helped someone here once or... Learn about the White Glove Society by talking to one of its... Are you a leader of the White Glove Society? Trying to elevate your status by being seen with me? It won't work. Uh-huh. What do we have... Oh my goodness. Yep, you're efficient. You're super efficient. They even left us with C4. Heck, Gunderson, I... Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? Uh, no, I don't believe I have. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. Hmm. So you lost your son. My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. I hear ya. Well, you know what? Maybe I can help you find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Oh, I like the way you think. And, uh, what business were you, uh... Were you on here at the hotel? That's between me and the White Glove Society. I'm but not... let's just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. Hmm. All right. I was just kind of wondering, you know, if there might be something business related between, you know, you and your missing son. And what were you meaning about White Glove? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. 
They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. Mm -hmm. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Makes sense. All right. Well, I'll see what I can do about your son. I'll be here. All right. Just one second. All righty. So, we might hear my one of the checkers, the other fella's uh, fuzzy companions meowing in the background. I'm not real sure. She's on some new medicine. I think it's making her a little, little bit loopy. But uh, hopefully she's resting a little bit more easily now. All right. Um, let's see what they want us to do here. Get Ted back to his father if he's still alive. Ask around the Ultralux for information. You'd be crazy to put you your money on either side of the coming battle. Uh, Y'all talked at once. Don't really know. Ask around. Well, I would expect someone with a different name than Gambler to help, maybe. I'm not really gambling. I'm just hoping to be seen here. People right. People think I'm rich. Uh-huh. Hmm. That business at the tops could never happen here. We don't admit that sort of riffraff. Ah, uh, what, what? Get kind of wiggly back there, aren't you? All right, well. What about you? Our rangers are going to show like everyone what happens when we're at pissed one of the off. Other hotels. Heavy sigh. All right. Have you been inside our bathhouse? The salts in the water work to balance the bodily humors. Uh-huh. Sure they do. And who are you? You look like you'd be more at home at one of the other hotels. Just give me a little bit of strength to not terminate everyone Did in this room. you know the strip's all stirred up lately? How strange. I have a feeling it's about to get stirred up in here, too. What are you pointing me at? Mechanical compass? Not this fella. Gambler? Caesar's fate was sealed from the start. That's true. Hello Good there. Good day to you. How may I be of service, sir? Um, well, what can you tell me about your organization? My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course, but our pedigree was established over generations. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes, and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. And that's what the White Glove Society is all about. I see. And uh, do you have any work that needs doing? No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. Uh-huh. Indeed. Oh, you folks are making me so happy. I just can't wait to share. Find out more about the White Glove Society by talking to Marjorie. Tell Yes Man we're going to ignore the... Well, I don't know that we need to worry about that. But who's Marjorie? No, really, who's Marjorie and, and, well, apparently Marjorie is this way. The Gourmand, you say. Are you Marjorie? You How are. You Marjorie, it is lovely to meet you. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. I'm sure it will. 
Do you work here? I do, but one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. Oh, you're the founder. Well, I'm looking for someone who went missing here recently. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. Um... Okay... Who is the uh, investigator you were talking about? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Huh. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. Actually, I'm not really here about a missing bride. I'm here about a man. And he just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. So, I was talking with uh, Heck Gunderson. He said he was here to talk business with you. Can you tell me what business? What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. Oh, it's right. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. Mm -hmm. But a delicacy is just that. Delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or a family restaurant. Oh my so gosh. as much as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. Mm. So you mentioned that investigator again. Uh, is there any way I could speak with that person? Why, yes, I think so, if he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our maitre d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. And you say the White Glove Society used to eat human flesh? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. Right. All right, well, um, I'll see if I can't go talk to that investigator. Thanks, Marjorie. Ta-ta. Yes, ta and ta. Caesar's fate was sealed from the start. That's true. All right, well, let's talk to Mortimer and see if he can direct us that there investigator's room. How may I be of service, sir? Well, Mortimer, Marjorie said you gave a complimentary room to a private investigator. Private investigator? Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Well... 
You know, I'm just kind of hoping that we might be able to help each other. You are? Nothing so grim as his investigation, I hope. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. All right. Well, thanks. Indeed. Goodbye, Mortimer. Um, wait, what now? Follow the ma the mechanical compass. One Caesar's floor. Fate was sealed from the start. Yeah, we all know. Thank you. All right. Door to hotel rooms? Sure. Maybe. One floor above. That sounds right. Well. All right, Veronica. Come on in. Close the door behind us. Well, that's wild. You like that? Yeah, you guys are funny. I'm kind of let her have this fun. That's enough of that. Yeah. Oh, by the way, habit I picked up somewhere. All right, white glove. What do you got? Why don't we just take your stuff? Just in case we need it. Wonder what the wild wasteland thing was. Might be a reference I'm just not familiar with. Crusoe, huh? A matchbook. Oh. The, uh. Meet with the investigator contact, 4 p.m. Ultralux steam room. What time is it? Um, well, first let's take a look at that. Uh, is it gonna be data? Miscellaneous, matchbook. Yeah, steam room, 4 p.m. Okay, it is currently 1.14. All right, let's, um, I think maybe this is supposed to be a, oh, you know, one of them there, if there was like a Fallout CSI Miami or something, but I could be wrong. You never know. Let's see what's in here. A fella who always had the sunglasses. All right. Probably should put this away for now. And uh, appear to not be holstering it. Sunset, huh? Alright. Well, let's not leave any fingerprints of our own in there. Oh, there's an eyeball. Uh, Veronica, do you want a dress cane? Here you go. Oh no, you've got your... Yeah, you've got your power fist there. Steam room. If I were a steam room, where would I hide? Wait, what? Oh, it's a person. Um. Door to the bathhouse. Well, it's, uh, well, let's see here. 154, so this will put us 254. I guess if we are swift enough, we could just do this. Look for the steam room. Well, I think this is a steam room. Oh, well, this is a steam room. Uh, local? Quests? Guess we'll just kind of hang out there.
Chauncey, maybe? He's got a name. Who are you? Oh, I'm looking for someone who went missing. So was the man I'm supposed to be meeting here. Where is he? Well, he's dead. Oh my goodness, me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So is Mortimer behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Hmm. So what were you supposed to discuss here? The girl. The one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. How do you know what happened? Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the White Gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. And what about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. We're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. Oh the White boy. Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Is there anything you can do to help? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Hmm. Any suggestions on how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well... They'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. I like Philippe the way has you been think. trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. All right. Well, wouldn't they? I don't quite understand this, but wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Well, Ted's father is a wealthy man. With his resources, this should be easy to stop. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the Strip. Well, not now, likely, with all the robots running about anyway. 
And uh, you told me they're keeping Ted where again? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. Uh -huh. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. And uh, can you sponsor me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. All right. Well, let's put it into action. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Always happens whenever you put your gun away. We'll be taking that. And your rounds. Ten left, huh? Yeah, you were prepared for this. Alright. Well, Veronica... Sorry, Chauncey. He's just trying to do good. Man. Alright. Well... I don't know that these folks will care particular that we're armed or even notice. I wonder what that door back there goes to. Let's take a quick look. We're getting towards the end of our journey, so we might want to wrap things up. Let's uh cover up as much as we can here. Come on, Veronica. Come on all the way out. We'll put this down. I'm not gonna put it away again. Casino floor. That's not the way we came in. Let's see what's out here. The gourmand. Bathhouse. Alright, I think. Hmm. I think we're close enough to, to time that we, we might want to stop here and pick up again next time. Veronica and I will do our best to, well, you know, act natural. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to say thank you so much for joining us on our journey. Uh, Veronica and I, and of course, Checkers the Human, are, are grateful that you're here with us. We hope you found it entertaining and maybe even just a little bit informative. We would like to invite you to think of something you're truly grateful for. Something, something that brings you joy, a true warmth to your heart. And we would all like you to know that we are very grateful that you allow us to share your time. Most of all, though, we would like to ask you to please, please take care.